I've been keeping weekly records since February 15th of 2021. This week in the single family market, we have more homes on the market today than we did any time since then. And we were only 23 units short from tying that inventory high in the condo market as well. But these inventory highs, they're not gonna be around for too much longer. So buyers, get your kicks in while you can because come spring, it's gonna be a seller's world and we're all gonna have to be living in it. In this video, we're gonna go over the single family and condo markets in the state of Massachusetts. We're also gonna do a quick interest rate update and we're gonna talk about some relevant current events. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent and real estate investor that sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions in regards to the real estate market, then no, I'm here to help. Let's jump into the single family market stats. Check out this spike in inventory. Inventory levels in Massachusetts shot up to 5,625 single family homes on the market. We now have 10.3% more homes on the market than just 28 days ago. As I mentioned earlier, this is an inventory high since I started keeping weekly records, but it's not over. Inventory is going to continue to grow this fall. This should be music to buyers ears. And this week, we started to see our inventory levels pull away from the previous yearly highs. We now have 1,326 more houses on the market when compared to the same week last year, and now have 293 more houses on the market than when compared to 2022. And new listings, they dropped off a little bit from last week's numbers, but came in higher than last year. As well as 2022, we listed 1,388 single family houses last week, which was 365 additional houses than when compared to the same week back 2023. And two listing activity increased by 37.5%. Now the four week rolling average is 959 units, but under agreements also came in higher. This week we put 1,023 single family homes under agreement. This is 82 units or 8.7% more than the same week last year. We put 941 houses under agreement and that four week rolling average is 846 units. So when compared to last year's market, new listings were up by 37 and a half percent while under agreements, they were up by 8.7%. The big drop in the pending to new listing ratio, it makes sense. The under agreements this week are going up against the inventory surge of two weeks ago. The ratio of 72.6% is compared to the 72% that we saw this week last year. What this means is that nearly 73% of all the properties that came on the market two weeks ago went under agreement last week. Now there were 638 single family homes that closed last week for an average sales price of $812,000 and a median sales price of $630,000. Sales levels compared to this same week last year were down by 33 units or 4.9% as there were 671 single family houses that sold last year for an average sales price of $732,000. Loads of inventory, this is helping to determine what type of market we're in. Zero to five months, that's considered a seller's market. But the closer you get to zero, the more aggressive and the stronger the seller's market that it is. This week, lots of inventory increased to 1.72 months from last week's 1.63 months. Now the 1.72 months this week is compared to the 1.39 months that we saw this week last year. Real quick, it's my shameless plug. I just wanted to mention that if you are thinking about buying or selling a home, there would be a true pleasure to help you. Now onto the condo market. We now have 3,044 condos on the market as of Monday. This means that there's 11.7% more inventory in the market today than inventory levels of just 28 days ago. We now have 608 more units on the market today than today last year, 293 more than compared to the inventory levels of 2022 and 108 more units than in 2021. There were 623 condos that came on the market last week with that four week rolling average of 432 units. The 623 units listed was 96 units or 18.2% more than the 527 condos that came on the market this same week back in 2023. It's hard to make out this week's blue line because in 2022, we listed 613 units. Continue to see very similar data compared to 2022 when we look at the uh, new listing ratio. This week, we put 458 units under agreement. Now, this 458 condos is 36 units or 8.5% more than the 422 condos that we put under agreement this week last year. That four-week rolling average for under agreements is 329 units. So 18.2% more listings came on the market when compared to this week last year while selling 8.5% more condos. Just like the single family market, the condo pending to new listing ratio, it fell off a cliff. This week's pending to new listing ratio is 57.5%, and this is compared to the 63.1% that we saw this time in last year. There were 249 condos that sold this week for an average sales price of $621,000 and a median sales price of $488,000. The same week last year, there were 300 condos that sold for an average sales price of $656,000. So sales levels, they were down by 17%. 
months of inventory shot up to 2.29 months this week compared to the 2.17 months that we recorded last week. We recorded 1.84 months of inventory levels this week last year. And if you could do me a huge favor, can you hit that like button right down there? Believe it or not, it just makes a huge difference with the YouTube channel. Plays with that YouTube algorithm while subscribing. If you're enjoying the content, how one doesn't hurt either. So please consider subscribing. Time to talk about interest rates though, because another great week for interest rates. Interest rates are down significantly more than 1% from last year. Keep in mind that for every 1% interest rates go down, then us as home buyers, we pick up 10% of our buying power. The downward interest rate trend continues. The market is pricing in the Fed rate cut. That's all that's going on here. Warren Buffett has an interesting quote. He believes that interest rates power everything in the economic universe. Apologies in advance as the quote's a little long, but it's worth it. The value of every business, the value of a farm, an apartment, house, or any other economic asset is 100% sensitive to interest rates. That's because all you're doing when you're investing is transferring money to someone now in exchange for a stream of money which you expect to come back in the future. And the higher interest rates are, the less that present value will be. Interest rates are to asset prices sort of like gravity to the apple. When interest rates are low, there's little gravitational pull on asset prices. But I think this meme really sums up what's going on in the marketplace right now, because it seems like people aren't believing me. I figured I'd also ask ChatGPT, what happens to the real estate market when interest rates drop? And by the way, you can do the same. It came back saying the effects of lower interest rates are increased demand for houses, rising property values, more refinancing activity, easier access to credit, boost in new construction and development, and improved housing affordability for the short term. Man, that chat GPT is a genius. But let's focus on that last one, because that's the key. Improved housing affordability for the short term. The decrease in rates will drive more demand, thereby more activity, which will increase prices. There's a lag in between the decrease in rates and the jump in asset prices. For all intents and purposes, we can call that lag the fall. It's a short and magnificent window of opportunity for home buyers. Waiting for rates to go down further isn't the answer. You can always buy and lock in the lower asset price and then refinance if rates continue the downward spiral. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs again? It's Jeff Chow. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a home in the next 9 or 90 days, then I would love to chat with you and just find out more about your real estate goals. And if you know of anyone that's thinking about buying or selling a house, then I truly appreciate you passing along my contact information. You can visit youtuberealestateagent.com or find all my contact information in the description below right down there. Until next time, and thanks for watching.